a lot out there, but it's a good thing you can check the camera and see yes. if you can go. Right. Very cool. Well, Halloween tonight. Okay. It's big. It is. And no rain. No rain. It's not hot. It's not humid. No. It's, it's warm right now, but okay. we'll be turning milder through the evening and good. night. And then very pleasant as we head into the next several days. In fact, if you do like the warmer weather, highs will be getting back to the low 80s toward the middle to end of the week. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Right now, beautiful outside. We've had kind of a mix of sun and clouds at times. 76 degrees, our current temperature. Now, that is the normal high. We did get up to 77 degrees, so basically we're at normal for this time of year. Dew point in the 50s, not too dry, but not too humid either. And that's where we'll stay through the night and into the day tomorrow. Temperatures, humidity about the same. So our high temperature marked at 77 degrees, just a degree above average. Then as we head into the next couple of days, we'll start to get into the lower 80s. Now, 89 and upper 80s are the record. So we're not talking record type temperatures, but certainly a warming trend on the way. Mid to upper 70s across the area at the moment and dew points in the 50s. So we're not going to get lower than the dew point. So by tomorrow morning, waking up with 50. So a cool start to the day. Not going to really feel cool this evening or tonight. Overnight tonight as we'll start to get a little bit more of that cool air and also very light wind. So relatively speaking, very pleasant for all of the trick or treaters headed out. We are looking at kind of a change in our upper pattern coming. Here's what's happening right now. We've got this southwesterly flow aloft and at the base of this little upper disturbance helping to trigger some clouds and showers out across parts of Texas. Now that little disturbance will be moving our way. However, it doesn't appear as though that upper disturbance is really sending in a lot of the energy south. So as this little feature moves on by, during the day tomorrow. What we're also looking at is the instability in the atmosphere. This is what would help to trigger rainfall or cloud cover. And it looks like this instability is going to be for the most part focused to our north. So I don't think we're going to see any rainfall out of this. But during the day tomorrow, there may be periods of mostly cloudy skies as this feature slides on by. As we head toward the middle to end of the week, upper ridging starts building in. That will allow temperatures to warm up a bit. Then here comes another deep upper trough sending a cold front on our way. But the problem is with this one, the front will start to approach. Then the main energy starts lifting away. So both the GFS and the Euro indicate the front will come to maybe about as far east as Lafayette or uh, Baton Rouge and then start dissipating as the main energy leaves. So next front on the way is probably not going to move through. So our temperatures looking forward, no real cool air inside, at least going into the early part of next week, maybe toward the end of next week, we'll start to cool down. So the first several days of November, fairly quiet. Here's that increase in cloud cover I mentioned during the day tomorrow. Model has some showers offshore, but they never do make it over us. So a dry day, just probably a little bit more on the cloudy side. Then we clear out and plenty of sunshine as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. By the end of the week, as we start to get that upper ridging building in, we're also going to start to see winds coming back off of the Gulf, so that will start increasing our humidity as well. Kind of a reminder on the tropics that we are not done with hurricane season. Tropical storm Lisa formed early this morning. This is in the Western Caribbean. This is not a threat for us. Again, hostile environment across the Gulf and the upper pattern keeping anything away from us. So this system, if it does become a hurricane, possibly weak or just before making landfall into Belize and then moving further into northern Guatemala and parts of Mexico. Big rainmaker, very mountainous terrain there. What is interesting, though, is that in history, the storms that we've seen form within 100 miles of New Orleans break broken down by month. In November, we have had two. Now, one of them kind of misleading. It was uh, Tropical Storm Juan. This was in 1985. Look at this little look, pretzel pattern it did. As a matter of fact, you almost could say this wasn't a November storm because by the, today it had already made landfall near Mobile and then was weakening. And then actually in 2009, we had a Category 2 Ida that formed and moved toward the Louisiana coastline in early November and then got pushed away thanks to a cold front. So we still can get tropical systems this late in the season. It's just very, very rare that we do. No tropical threats. 78 degrees are high tomorrow, then we'll start warming up, but peaking in the low 80s. Remember on Saturday night, we have to turn those clocks back one hour.